Andrew Scheer is likely to face more questions over revelations of his dual citizenship. I was never asked about it from Canadians. I've actually been very honest about it. My, my father's always been very open uh, about where he's come from. The Conservative leader holds both Canadian and American citizenship, a fact that only came to light on Thursday. Dual citizenship is something the Conservative Party has criticized other politicians for in the past. A spokesperson told reporters that Scheer began the process of renouncing his U.S. status before the election campaign kicked off. Daniel Smith from Global News Radio 770 CHQR joins us to continue this conversation. I'll just throw it over to you, Danielle. Ah, <sighs> sigh. Well, here's the thing. I mean, this, this is what it's going to come down to is we look around the world and we see what has taken down other politicians. And then we just try the same trick here. And this is the thing that made, this made me remember was when there was a pretty popular Australian uh, politician. I think she got elected to Senate. And it turns out that she was a Canadian, but she didn't know it because she had that kind of um, uh, status where she took on the citizenship of her parents. I guess there was sort of a period of time where you had to uh, formally renounce your citizenship if or formally accept it. And she didn't she didn't know. But in Australia, they have a, uh, the, a rule that you can't run for office unless you have done that. So she ended up losing her position. But that's Australia. That's not our laws here. So here what they're trying to do is just score political points. And this is a little bit of the conservative medicine coming back to hit them because they made a big deal initially with Mikhail Jean. This is what Andrew Scheer is getting in trouble for as a blog he wrote in 2005, questioning whether Mikhail Jean should have been able to retain her dual citizenship. And you could maybe make a case for that. I'll, I'll talk to someone today about that. But because she's the representative of the queen, it could make sense the governor general should have a single citizenship. I'm open to being convinced on that. But why would it make sense for anyone else to have to renounce their citizenship? The, the, the reason why they did it when it was Thomas Mulcair and when it was Stéphane Dion was, quite frankly, to play to some anti-French sentiment in the West. The only reason they are doing this now is to play to some anti-American sentiment in the East. It's, it's total manipulation. That would be one part. The other part is that it does expose Andrew Scheer and the Conservatives as being pretty hypocritical. I would say the solution on this going forward is to recognize, as we've been told for the last 40 years, that we are a nation of immigrants. A Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. We are an officially multicultural society, and it shouldn't matter if somebody has dual citizenship as long as uh, they want to represent Canadians and they run for office and they're validated by their constituents. This really should be a non-issue. I uh, hear more on this topic on Daniel's show today starting at 930 on 770 CHQR. Thanks, Danielle. Thank you.